Hello everybody and welcome back to Aratus Lord of the Dead. I'm Robert Rambles and thanks for joining me today. Let's jump right into our next battle. All of our prep in the graveyard is all done and we can go ahead. We're trying out the mummy in our third slot so this could all go horribly wrong. We also only have a level 2 tank and a level 2 bride. Everyone else is being healed and our priority here is going to be the doomsayer most likely. Let's see if we could do this. I'm kind of tempted to leave the Banshee in. I'm just really thinking about... Like, what does the Mummy bring to the table to really hit that last row? I don't think... Oh, you know what? He can hit that last row with his physical attack. As long as he stays in that third spot, he might actually be useful in this. So let's go ahead and just... Let's go with it. But these guys have a possibility to go into a stance that's going to do a Sinister Strike that's going to deal a crap ton of damage to our guys. Immediately I want to take down... Well, immediately I want to start taking people down, but I want to focus on him first. And we got to get through his block, unfortunately. And we're going to have to do something about these guys because the two of them, they're only going to be able to target the front rows here. And it's going to be up to the mummy and the bride to get this guy down as quickly as possible. And maybe by then the skeleton are in our Dark Knight will have wore this first conscript down. It seems too easy, so we'll see how it goes. And that moves him. That's also very good. Oh, well, he moved himself back. Nice for the block there. That's very useful. Okay, let's... Maybe we'll take this guy out. As Perfect. As you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Ouch. They really go for our skeletons, I feel like. Um, now he has his shield back up again. Yeah, the end is coming. We're not going to be able to take him out before that happens. Let's go ahead and just hit everybody with Rose for a Lady. Oh, my darling, kill! And keep wearing these guys down. This guy's going to get the spell off. Uh, the good thing is that it hits his own guys. The bad thing is our Bride is getting low and our Skeleton is probably not going to make it through this battle. That's kind of the bad thing. Um, I am going to hit him with this because it's going to shift him, and I hope that messes up his plans for the future. It's it's not going to deal any damage, obviously. But I'm hoping it still moves him. It doesn't when it's blocked. Okay. I don't know if I knew that already. Goodbye, skeleton. It was nice to know you while you lasted. We're just not having any luck keeping them alive, and I'm starting to wonder if it's worth it or if we just go heavy with the bone golems. Because at least they have a heal, and they tend to live longer than our skeleton friends. Skeletons are very useful because they have smite, which hits swings twice, and we can break through armor with it. Or block with it, rather. That's why I like skeletons. But if they're just going to keep dying, then I'm not sure it's worth it. At this point, everything he has is basically worthless to us from the second position. That's the problem now. We can start getting through his ward, but he can't go insane, so... It's not going to do us much good. We're going to have to uh, physical damage him down with our other two. Ugh, the block. There we go, we got him. Nice crit. Mine is the winning side. We're gonna need that to promote our next skeleton. And eventually we'll figure out how to, I was hoping he'd get a level. Eventually we'll figure out how to keep those guys alive. Uh, we could put him in here and he could level up in there. That might be... I wish we could just drag and drop like that. That'd be a good addition. Instead of having to go fully into the interface, if we could just drag and drop them, that'd be really great. 
Let's get everybody out of our mortuary and see what we're working with. She needs to go in. We might as well put him in. And he's not doing any good. Let's do something like this. Probably go with something like that. We need another skeleton, so let's just go ahead and make one. And we'll see what we're up against as to whether or not we're going to put him in. Oh, we can't. What are we missing? We just need parts. Overall, we just need more parts. That's part of the problem. <laughs> okay, so if we need more parts, we can increase the amount of parts we get by 10%. That's not... To me, that's not a huge amount. That's the only problem with that. We could take a look at some other spells. Going to destruction, we could take a look at some spells that can actually deal some direct damage to enemies. We can deal three magic damage and set them on fire for two turns. I'm going to grab that. Our bride doesn't seem to need accuracy. Haste might be good. We can grant initiative if we know we want to get our guys to attack first. This might really help us. I've used it before. So let's go with that for now. Oh, uh, so yeah, we're not making anybody else right now. Let's see, we're in, yeah, we can't go this way. We're gonna have to go forward. I don't like having so few minions. 10% more likely to drop parts. So that would be a stack 20% if we kept that equipped with that other talent. All minions gain plus one ward to the end of battle. I, I'll take it as tribute. is that a, it might be a one-time usable. I think it was, actually. Oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, so in this slot, we can equip things that we can use once. All enemies gain plus 20 vigor till the end of battle. I, nothing is worth that. At the beginning of battle, we gain 45 wrath. That could be good. After victory, all minions that survive. Yeah, that could help us out a lot towards getting leveled up. This is, oh, that's appealing too, but this is a definite, you know, they're not always going to crit us, but giving us all plus one ward till the end of battle, that's great. Uh, magic attacks, stress, magic attacks, thwarted. Um, let's see. And then we have this. So minions with at least eight initiative at the beginning of the battle gain eight accuracy and eight evasion. So it'll either happen or it won't. So. Even more than previously. So the, we are going to go with her. Um, it's not really ideal. It'll help keep damage down. It, we don't really have a lot of choice. So we'll make the best of it. And yeah, they're all going to get to go before we do, unfortunately. I wish we had a chance to use the spells before they went. I'm gonna use it anyway, so we can get ahead here a little bit. Speed of thought. At least we'll all get a turn before the last guy goes. And I guess what I'm gonna do here is just start getting through their their block. I have to get these guys down pretty quick. They also have a stance they can go into where they'll, they'll counter and have a potential to do quite a bit of damage to us on the counter. Uh, who do I want to put this on? Right away, I'm just thinking we put this on to... I mean, let's put it on our, on our bride. I hope I don't regret this. I hope the Dark Knight doesn't end up needing it more. Yeah, see, now he's protecting him, so we can't attack this guy or this guy. We should be able to attack him, though. If I have her use this, he's going to counterattack her. I don't want that. So I'm actually going to have her single target this guy. 
Just gonna shuffle them around a bit. Maybe it'll mess things up for them. I want to use our Rage to have our Dark Knight heal. Let's finish this guy off. Oh no! He's got like one hit point. I hope they don't focus. Okay, good. They probably could have killed our Dark Knight there if they had a bolt hit him with crits like that. Yeah. That was terrifying. Actually. I can't believe that magic attack missed him. That's just what we needed to finish that off. Let's, um... He's not even in position to use this, which is quite awful. I need this guy gone. That's all. I just need him gone. And I need him back up front. And for now, I think I just need armor on him. Because I need him to stay alive till he can heal. We might lose the Banshee, but I'd rather lose her than lose our Dark Knight. Uh, plain and simple. Okay, at least we can get the debuff back up. That's great. Let's heal him up. To full, almost. That's great. And we'll keep knocking away at his health. It's unfortunate that he can't cast the block also on himself. But he can't, so... I think I'm safe to have her do her, um... Rage, her wrath attack here. I think that's good. He's full health and theirs isn't too useful. Not in this situation at least. We're just leaving them with that one hit point. Ugh. It's not a lot of mana to use and it's good just to finish them up so I don't have to spend a character's attack on it, you know? Oh, leave our Banshee alone. She's toast, guys. Unless we can finish these guys off both this turn, which I doubt. I mean, I highly doubt it. We could go ahead and do this. And maybe that, if he doesn't crit her, she might live. Perfect. Yeah, we're actually, I think, I think he's going to be more useful than the skeleton overall. That bone shield and the self, he's also got a self heal, so I know he's low, but we could probably heal him up if we needed to. All right, that didn't go too badly. <laughs> Meaning we didn't we didn't lose anybody, so. And we're just not getting a lot of parts. So we're going to have to be very careful going forward with the units we choose to make. I mean, we could probably leave him in there. He'll gain two experience after each battle, so eventually he he will they will continue to level up. It's just not going to be at a very fast pace. Eventually, we could probably open up at least one more slot here, but it means sacrificing a bride. And we can't even make a bride right now, so we're not really in a situation to be sacrificing minions all willy-nilly uh, for structures right now. Let's take our folks out of the mortuary and put some people in that need to go in. Let's do their level ups first. Uh, for our bone golem here, who needs his alternate look, which is much cooler. This, we can either change fitted armor so it grants two block, and that'll give him some additional armor himself. Or we could make it give a ward and a block, and he'll get 25. Let's go this way. I like him having more health since he uses his health pool for a lot of his abilities. Um, oh, that's loses 25 vigor. Yikes. Well, I read that one wrong. 
Uh, but that's okay. It's a block and a ward, so magic and physical, they'll get one of each. Not bad. Might have cut the cost down and gone with the block, actually. We'll keep that in mind for our next Bolton Golem. This guy won't be our only, I don't think. Uh, our mummy, who I'm still not sure about. I don't really care about luck, that's the thing. It'd be really cool if we could turn, like, one of these stress attacks into a physical damage attack. That would be cool. But for now, we're just going to grab him the... Serve me well, grab him the block, I guess. Minion. And our Dark Knight... Hmm... We can grab him some attack. It'll also deal an additional 3 damage for each buff or debuff on the target. If we use this, uh, we don't really use this unless we get out of position, but could be useful. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put you in here. You might as well go in here as well, even though you're not missing a lot of health. Actually, you guys will probably heal up just out of combat. Not that it really matters. Uh, the unfortunate thing is he is going to have to go. And I'm going to... Well, it's not really unfortunate. Let's take him out with us. And we can just put uh, this guy in here. It's perfectly alright. Let's do that. And that should work okay. We could put somebody in here. Is there anybody who's closest to leveling? Anybody need to experience? You will level up. You would not. So let's go ahead and we'll put the bride in there and then she should gain a level after this next battle. Definitely want to spend her talent point before we go out. I don't think she needs any more accuracy. But a critical hit dealing 250% crits are chances though. Let's, anything else that's more useful might be more useful to uh, get her some armor. Uh. Survivability might be key on harder difficulty modes, I'm thinking. Uh, we can go up here and we could just restore Erotus' mana since we don't have any vigor issue at the moment with our minions. We'll go here and get his max mana back. And then we could probably do this one last battle here before we take a little bit of a break. I'm going to be interested to see if we can go around the long way or if we're forced to go right to the boss after this. So I do want to get through this battle and see what our choices are. Again, they all have higher initiative than us. They're all going to get to go first except for maybe the one guy. And by doing this, they get him into a safer position. Um, we're going to go ahead... What can we do here? Nothing too useful. We could... We'll do this to get all of our people a turn here. And then same tactic as before, let's start working on this guy with uh, our Bride and our Mummy and while we peg away at this guy with our front two. It seemed effective before, we'll see if it works for us again. It's also good because it messes with their order. This is going to hit the first two, I think. I missed him. Shouldn't have jinxed myself. He put his armor back up. That's going to be something that he is constantly doing that we're just going to have to deal with. Well, we know what he'll be doing his next turn. Our Dark Knight will definitely be healing. And that throws him that throws him out of his stance, so he didn't get to do his spell there because we yanked him forward, threw him out of his stance, and that's actually really good. Okay, so anybody that attacks this guy or this guy is gonna get counterattacked for a lot. So we need to avoid them right now. I think even this will trigger it. I'm barely sure that it will. 
So, my options, I could put some damage into this guy. I don't want to get hit by his counterattack, and then we can yank him, try to yank him forward and get him out of this stance. I wonder if I heal here if I'm going to get counterattacked. I have to risk it because I need I need him to heal. Probably just going to get counterattacked for half his health. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too bad. Let's use this. And, well... Should I use it on him and end the stance? Let's just use it on him. Okay, he redirected it. We both missed. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I was hoping it would break the stance, but no. Anytime they get a free reaction hit, it's just bad. There we go. Stance over. Oh, Jesus. Our Dark Knight is not looking too good. We're going to need this. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Oh, jeez. We're taking him out. End, you need friend. to heal. Let's go ahead and do that. This is kind of dragging on for too long, actually. We are need to be doing a little bit better than this. Let's go ahead and just see if we can crit all these guys. That'll speed up things a little bit for us, hopefully. He keeps putting that block on himself and retreating. I mean, that's just what he does, but it's getting incredibly annoying uh, to deal with. I'm getting worried that we're going to lose this our Blood Wraith here. Let's get him out of the stance. Their flesh and their soul. That was a nice crit, otherwise it would have hit his block, I realized. So we got really lucky there that the mummy crit. Unfortunately, it looks like we may in fact lose our Blood Wraith. Maybe we could take out two guys with one stone here. Not quite. Not quite. Maybe, well, we're gonna get one of them if we hit. Oh, okay. We didn't lose anybody. Uh, he's actually really good when we can keep him in position. He did really well there and helped us out a lot. Moving that Doomsayer around was, was pretty clutch, I think. And she leveled up, so that is good. She's level 3 now. Who do we want to throw in here? Well, everybody's pretty low on health. Let's see... Pull these guys out and get our party back together. Whoops. We can do that. You need to go heal, you need to heal, you need to heal. Uh, for what we're going to take for your talent. I think again we just My grab the armor. Make her survivable, or make her able to survive. Let's see. I don't have any likely candidates to go in here, but I don't want to be wasting it, so I guess I could just throw her back in there. She'll gain two experience. And it's, I guess it's useful to have people in there at all times. We, we want to open this up more if we can, but we don't even have the extra minions to put in there right now, so until we can get some more minions going... And we need parts for that. Like, we could build another skeleton, but now I'm tempted not to. I'm tempted to put another bone golem into rotation, and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Going, so I might actually throw him in the nice level up uh, tank red. and level him up. That's what I might do. We could use this level 2 brain on him to give him a little bit of a head start. Since it's only a level 2 brain, and we're only gonna be getting higher level brains from here on out, we'll do his accuracy. And we'll get him in here. The next thing we'll do is we'll open up a second slot here. 
uh, for sure. And I think this is a good spot to take a little break as far as talents. The grabbing the physical damage might not be bad. At positions 1 and 2, so there we go. Twice to the same targets. We can keep going down into destruction. I mean, it could definitely help us out. So maybe we'll do that. I've never gone really deep into destruction before. We also have to be on the lookout for certain things, though. Like, we could really use this for our, some of our units. Skeletons gain 20 vigor. And we do need to get down... You know, we might not use zombies like I have in the past, so we might not need this. But we do need to be aware of other ones. Uh, Banshee, we could grab this if we keep using Banshees, which... The way they focus on stress damage, I don't use Banshees very much going forward after the first level. I'll be... Well, we need to decide. I might put a mummy in that position. Seem to be working okay. So yeah, we'll, t we'll think about that going forward. For now, we'll take a little bit of a break. When we come back, um, it looks like we can go this way. So I am definitely going to go the long way. I hope you guys are cool with that. It's going to do a couple of things. It's going to get us some more experience with our minions. Hopefully level up a little bit more. Maybe even get some more parts to get some more minions. But we're going to be encountering some different kinds of enemies here. There's an elite in the back row of this one that I'm not sure that I know what he does. So that'll be very interesting. Looking forward to seeing you guys again real soon. As always, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me. And take care.